Hey, beautiful spirits. Happy Friday. It's dating after 40 Friday. Today we are going to talk about, are they, how do you know, are they just not really into you? I'm LD Juarez and I'm your sparkle coach. I'm so excited to talk about this because oftentimes, especially in midlife, we're like, well, you know, maybe it's going to take them time. They were hurt in their past or whatever. And you accept the crumbs. You accept being put on a shelf because you're trying to show them how understanding and wonderful you are, right? And you think they're going to come around. And then, trust me, years can go by like that. So your intuition is going to tell you for sure if they are not that into you. You'll just know. But sometimes you'll stick around because you want a concrete sign. There are so many signs, and there's a book about it. It's called He's Just Not That Into You. Greg something starts with a B. Anyway, old book. But let's talk about a couple because these are really common. So the first one is that if you're saying, oh, I care about you or I miss you. I was thinking about you today. And they just say, thanks or I appreciate that. And they talk to you like you're just some stranger or they talk to strangers nicer than you. Mm, That is a concrete sign. They are not that into you. Or if you are last on their freaking list, that is a concrete sign. You'll know. You'll know if they're not inviting you to family functions. They're not taking you on trips when they go somewhere. They're not including you in times with their friends. They're not trying to spend time with you. They just talk to you on the phone, whatever, in their spare time. They're not that into you. Anyone, I don't care how busy they are. If they are into you, they are going to make time. They are going to want to be with you and include you in their life. And also another thing that will happen is they're going to change the rules, change the goalposts. So that way they can, in their mind, justify and blame you for why things aren't working. So say you're in a pattern of every Friday night you guys have dinner. Either you go out or you're at each other's house or whatever and you have dinner. And then all of a sudden, they're getting mad at you. Like, why? You always expect to have dinner, blah, blah, blah. And they make this big old deal about it. And all of a sudden, having dinner every Friday is not okay. And you're like, what? Or they do some kind of something that you're trying to jump through hoops for. They keep changing the rules on you. And then they're setting those hoops on fire. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm trying. And they make it impossible for you to ever reach their always moving standard. So... They're being cowardly for one thing, because if they don't really like you, why are they keeping you around anyways? Why are they forcing you to do this? It's terrible. And why are you accepting it? You're far better than that. You deserve way better than that. So those are some of the ways. There are so many other ways. But those are some of the ways that are, those are clear signs. That's it. If you are feeling any of that, if you're feeling like, wow, they only say they just come to your house. They don't take you out or they take you out in a group, but they don't take you out by yourself. What's up with that? What kind of stuff is happening there? Or they only see you in private. They don't see you out in public or whatever. Eh, you know, and intimacy or not. So if there is intimacy, you're just the booty call. I'm sorry. But if there's no intimacy, what are they using you for? What is this? Why are they keeping you around? I don't know. So please beware. Don't be a sugar mama. Don't be the one sitting around being so, what's the word? What is that word? Agreeable? Don't be so agreeable to all their stuff. You deserve to be a priority and you deserve to set your own high standard for what you're going to accept being treated like. And sometimes you have to be the stronger person than they are because if they're being a coward and not telling you the truth, You need to stand up for yourself and exit stage left because they're not going to do it, especially if it's been time and time and time, like a year. They're not going to do it. They're wimps. So you make your life a priority. You make love the priority in your life and you work on you, step away from their bullshit so you can be out there ready to receive love when it recognizes you. So yeah, that's that for today. I'm glad that you were here watching. Thank you so much. Thank you for hitting like, subscribing. Thank you for your comments. I appreciate it so much because it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. Yeah, so I want to hear from you. So comment below, 
let me know if there's some other signs because there's a whole book full of them, like I was saying. But has this ever happened to you? It's happened to me a lot. And the sooner you recognize it, the sooner you leave that, the better off you will be. All right? So be the sparkle. Remember, you are worth the best love ever. All right. See you later. Bye.